Good morning children. Let's continue with science lesson 1 growing plants. Today we are going to study the topic agriculture. So different types of vegetables, fruits, cereals, grains and pulses are grown by a farmer in a different seasons. So a plant grown in a large number on a plot of land during a particular season is called a crop. The practice of growing crops on a large scale in fields is called agriculture. Now let us see the different stages of agriculture. Number 1. Preparing the soil by plowing the field. In this, the farmer used bullocks or tractors to plow the field, which means the field is plowed to loosen the soil for the circulation of air, which is known as plowing. The second step is adding manures or fertilizer to the soil. Which means that manures or fertilizers are needed to provide nutrients to the soil. The third step is showing healthy and good quality of seeds. The word showing means that seeds are shown in the plowed field which is known as showing. The fourth step is irrigation of land. We know crops need to be given water regularly for their good growth. This is called irrigation, which means watering the plants. The fifth step is protecting the land from weeds and pests, which means that pesticides and insecticides are sprayed to protect the crops from pests. The sixth step is harvesting. The fully grown crops are cut and collected for use. This process is known as harvesting, which can be done manually or with the help of machines. And the last, the seventh step is storing which means that after harvesting, the crops are stored in silos or granaries till the time they are distributed in the market. So different crops require different kinds of soil, climate and amount of water to grow. Depending on the time of the year or the season in which they are grown, crops are of two main types. Number one, Carif crops which are grown from June to October. These crops largely depend on the rains, for example, rice, maize, etc. And the second is the rabi crops. These crops are grown from November to April. These crops do not depend on the rain, for example, wheat. So children, the explanation of the lesson is over. If you have any queries regarding this lesson, you can message me in the campus care. Thank you.